Hello Porsche race car fans in cartoon form that is. We have a Porsche 956 here by Choro Q. I bought it up loose here locally. And it's an old one on the bottom here. It says 1985? Is that 95? Hold on, let me get in on that. Yeah, it's 1985. Clearly it's used in a little bit of use. Maybe that was a price tag. Screw in the front, tab in the back. The rubber tires. Yeah, it was even glued down to something. So that's not the greatest. But this is so old it actually has the Dunlop part of it molded in. Oh, I think they can see a crack in the tire right there. So I don't want to mess with that too much. These tires are still good here. It's still soft. Um, so it turns out, I did a little search. Omron, I have no idea what that sponsorship is but this is a real livery of some sort as you saw in these images back here I guess this car in 1985 raced at Le Mans I don't know how well it did though and then later on there's something like the year 1999, 89 or 2000, 1990 so there have many 956's with this Omron sponsorship all right, so these are all printed on graphics and it's been played with, so some of them are scratched off. A little toe ring here. And it's interesting here, the Porsche is molded into the black windshield here. It's little window details, some fuel filler details, really thin panel gaps. I like how these vents actually go through to the tires. That's actually the rear you're looking at back there. So that's cool, it's a real vent. Uh, the wing here is a separate piece, it's a little loose actually. And then we have, well, maybe it's, I don't know where it is in the series, an 08 maybe. But here we go, what the car is. And that's it really. It's just a cheap little toy I picked up. I actually have another 956, which we should probably look at right now actually. This is uh, about a ways back. Now it's actually a little bit different. First, let's see how old this one is. This one says 01, so yeah, we're talking several over a decade later. And so, I took the wheels, I mounted them with a wall mount putty, so that's why it's all lowered. Unfortunately, the silver paint here is a little bit missing as well. This is used. So this has a wiper blade printed on, but it doesn't have the banner like this one on the top. This one has clear headlight covers because the whole body is this clear plastic and they painted the rest of it. Whereas this one, I think, the canopy is a separate piece, probably melted into the top. It's interesting, this thing is really low, like, uh, maybe, oh, maybe the motor isn't actually fully down. Let me take this apart. That front axle is just way too loose. Another case where the tab is bigger than the hole it's going through, so I'm gonna have to come back. This is the first choke you have seen with an all red motor. Yeah, the top of the motor, this little hook wasn't engaged, so that's why that front axle was all loose. I just popped it back, but now it's gonna probably be an elevated ride height. But you can see, yeah, the window is a separate piece melted on there, and the rest is just this opaque blue. I did have to take out a piece chunk of plastic so the tab will clear and I could you know take it apart that way now there we go so yeah now you can see the right height of the front axle is much higher and goofier but there you have the other one slammed so I'm just gonna leave this one the way it is I don't really like this livery enough to 3d print my own wheels either if I ever get uh, a 956 with an actual winning race livery which I don't think this Omron one did. Then I'll 3D print my own wheels for it. Okay. Alright, let's uh, look at these things up on this spinning thing. So, you know, that blue one still sits pretty low. If you look at the height of the wing, it's relatively close. So. I do like that the wheels, I mean the tires, have Dunlop in them. So, some other Porsches I have. We have this 
Porsche 924 Turbo, I believe, and it's dated 2001 on the bottom of it. It has some Hot Wheels wheels on it, wheel riders or some sort. Here's a 996 race car. This one is dated from 2001 as well. I think this might be. This other brand called CA Art Cart. I don't know when how old it is though. It's got continental tires. It's a different, you know, it's a little bit different in its deformation, but I like all the paint details on it. Right? It's actually printed all over the thing, so it's pretty neat. Uh, I should show off some LMP race cars because that's what these are. So I have a Nissan R90 CP, it's dated 1990 on the bottom of it. I have the famous Mazda 787B, this is dated 2004 on the bottom of it. And I 3D printed my own wheels for that one because that's a wheel that won Le Mans uh, one year. And then I have this Audi R8 that also won Le Mans in 2004. So. I like these LMP cars, they're cool. And they, they just look so goofy being cartooned, you know, they're so short. Yeah, I like them a lot. Alright, well, so this Omron one, yeah, it's not the greatest one. I wouldn't pay a lot of money for it, it's just not detailed enough. But at least it's a real livery, you know, whereas this one is just plain silver and it's kind of lame actually now that I think of it. So I'm happy to have this blue one. Hopefully one day I'll actually get one with a winning race livery like a, the Martini ones or well whatever. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you the next time I get a super deformed LMP race car. Bye.